Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to design lateral steel members according to the seismic provisions. As you can see, we have already opened our model in RAM structural system and we are in the steel post processor for the design of seismic provisions. For this particular video, we're going to show you how to assign a lateral frame type to all of your steel members in preparation for designing your lateral steel system for the seismic provisions. Now for this building, we are going to be designing the steel moment frames as special moment resisting frames and the braced frames as ordinary concentric braced frames according to the AISC 341-16 seismic provisions. To get started in assigning the lateral frame types, we're gonna to go to the assign menu bar option and then we'll select our frame type. From the assign frame type dialog, you can see that we have a variety of different types of frames that we can assign in the seismic provisions mode. Let's go ahead and get started with our moment frames and we're going to be going with special moment resisting frames for this exercise. I'm gonna select that option and then click the fence option. Now, as you can see, the default in RAM frame is that no type is currently assigned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my model, and I'm gonna draw a fence around all of my lateral steel members that are part of my moment frames. I'm gonna start with the left-hand side, and here you can see they've been labeled special moment resisting frame, and then I will go again with the right side verifying my selection each time. Now, once you're done with your moment frame, let's go ahead and right click and return to the previous dialog. We're now ready to work on our braced frames. To do that, let's go ahead and select the appropriate frame type. And for this exercise, we're gonna go with an ordinary concentrically braced frame, Chevron. Again, we're going to click on the fence button and we will draw a fence around our chevron braced frames. Now that we have specified our steel design code, we have generated our load combinations and assigned our frame types, we're ready to proceed with the design of the lateral steel members according to the seismic provisions, which we'll go ahead and show you how to do in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.